Welcome friends, in this one let's take a look at finding the following. Find the equations for the tangent line and normal line to the circle x squared plus y squared equals 25 at the point 3 comma 4. So you begin here with x squared plus y squared being equal to 25. So because of the form of this equation where y is not expressed explicitly, instead it's y squared, you need to use implicit differentiation. So for that reason I'm going to differentiate. Now the derivative of x squared is just 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is by the chain rule 2y times y prime. Don't forget that y prime. On the right-hand side, differentiating 25 will give you a value of 0. Continuing here now, what you can do is using 2x plus 2y times y prime equaling 0, just divide 2 from every term. That will give you x plus y times y prime is equal to 0. Then subtract x, so it's going to give you therefore that y times y prime is equal to negative x. And then over here you have y, just divide both sides by y. So it's going to give you therefore that y prime is negative x over y. Now that we have an expression for the derivative, negative x over y, we need to evaluate it at the given point of 3, comma 4. So it's going to be y prime evaluated at 3, comma 4. This would be equal to basically negative 3 over 4. Now what you can do is build the equation of the tangent line as follows, essentially. y minus the y-coordinate given, which is 4, is equal to, and then here on this side you put the value of the derivative, so it's negative 3 fourths, and then here you're going to put x minus 3, this way. This just has to be brought usually into the form y is equal to, say, mx plus b. So let's do that. Bring it into that form. You're going to have y is equal to, take the negative 4 from the left side, move it to the right side through addition. So it's going to be 4 plus, or rather minus still, negative 3 fourths, and then here x minus 3. Continue, it's going to be now y is equal to 4 minus, distribute this negative 3 fourths to the x and the negative 3. So it's going to give you, therefore, negative 3 fourths x. Then you have to be really careful because it's negative 3 fourths times negative 3 is going to be a positive 9 fourths as an example, you see? 9 fourths. Then what you want to do is take this 4 here and write it as 16 fourths so you can add it with the 9 fourths easily. So continuing, you're going to have that y is equal to the following. 16 fourths minus 3 fourths x plus 9 fourths. And then you just combine the two fractions over here. So lastly, y would be equal to this. 16 fourths plus 9 fourths will give you here 25 fourths. And then negative 3 fourths with the x gets copied directly. Normal line is next. So when I do that, I'm going to have the same thing, y minus 4. The only difference is you have to take the slope of negative 3 fourths and you have to form its negative reciprocal. The negative reciprocal of negative 3 fourths is positive 4 thirds. Okay, so then it times x minus 3 still. Continuing. Now you're going to have to distribute the 4 thirds everywhere. So it's going to be y minus 4, for example, is equal to 4 thirds x. Then you have to be really careful. Distribute the 4 thirds over to the negative 3. When you do that, it's going to look like the following. Minus, and then you're going to have 4 thirds times 3. Continuing here. Y would be equal to, take this negative 4, move it to the right side, so it becomes positive 4. Plus, 4 thirds x. Now this 3 here and this 3 here basically cancel off, and you therefore end up just with minus 4. Lastly, y would be equal to the positive 4 and the negative 4 cancel off. Therefore, you'll have 4 thirds x. And this is the answer for the equation of the normal line. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.